What's going on, Missouri and Illinois? The playoffs are back, and the quest towards holding up a state championship trophy is on. Let me get off the camera and get things rolling with our matchup of the week. The CBC Cadets hosting the Marquette Mustangs, and CBC quarterback Patrick Hyatt looks to connect with Chevalier Brenton for an easy six points. The Cadets get on the board first, but Marquette fires right back after Jack Auburn looks to find Anthony Caldwell Jr. in no man's land. CBC can't get there and they would tie the game. Hyder with the ball again, though, same side of the field. This time he finds his wideout, Zach Hine, at the four yard line. He'll push his way in for the score. CBC wins big, 63 to 28. Over to DeSmet, where Coach Steeples and his Spartans face Francis Howe Central. Fourth quarter, ball handed off to DeSmet junior Khalid Stewart, who shows off the wheels en route to a touchdown. No chance for Central here. DeSmet would take a 55 point lead. How Central takes a knee with two minutes left but aren't quite finished. Perhaps the best play of their game. 325 pound offensive lineman Sean Hales with the carry. Something you don't see every day. Good for him. But DeSmet wins it 55 to nothing and even ran sprints after the game. Wow. Up next, the Flyers of Limburg welcoming Eureka to town. The Flyers Trey Flukel trying to make some magic happen early on when the pass gets tipped and picked off by Nate Campbell. He would get a nice return that would set his team up in the scoring position. A few plays later, Carter Davis, he would connect with Trace Ruckman across the middle and they would go in for the score. At half, Eureka led by 14, but the Flyers stormed back and they won 21 to 14. Fredericktown at St. Mary's and Fredericktown, they only had 17 players able to dress for this playoff game. But check out this crazy play. Zion Gayfield on the carry for St. Mary's, and he's looking like he may go all the way, but not so fast. Fredericktown's Mal Malachi Kyle just steals it right out of his hands, and he looks like he's off. But he will fumble too, and the Dragons get the ball back. Wild play. St. Mary's will capitalize a few plays later when Diamond Cassius goes in for the score. St. Mary's wins 44 to 8. Westminster and Ledoux. Ledoux is up 14 to nothing at half when we got there. Third quarter, Jared Rhodes ripped off a huge run for the Rams as the Wildcats can't bring him down. He does step out of bounds though and can't believe it. Ledoux would score a few plays later. Then later in the third, the Rams do it on defense. Westminster driving, but it's Stewart dove with the pick. Ledoux rolls Westminster 28 to nothing. And on the plate now is Fort Zuma West and Hope. Normally when we cover the Indians, Colin Bunner always has a receiving touchdown. Tonight, he said, let me show you my versatility. A pick six for Holt, and man, they were cruising after that play. Now, moments later, they had the ball again. Cooper Brown usually makes the highlights with his throwing ability. This time, he hands the ball off, and Kyle Webling said, goodbye, my home is calling me. No one would catch him. Holt wins 48 to 14. And next up, Vianney at Fox. The Warriors have yet to get beat by a St. Louis team, and it wouldn't happen tonight. Their defense was stingy. Connor Sparks chasing down the ball carrier for a short game. Later on, it's a party in the backfield as Sparks picks up a quarterback sack. And when your defense plays that good, it means you only need a couple of these. Jahad Thompson with the carry. He goes untouched, and Fox wins 42 to nothing. And two teams not playing tonight were the Kirkwood Pioneers and Webster Grove Statesmen. Both teams encountered a positive COVID-19 test within the program and were forced to quarantine a handful of players, ending their playoffs before they even began. As for the Turkey Day game between the two schools, it's still on as scheduled for the time being.